check out one of my audiobooks, ebooks, paperbacks down in the description below. Dave Chappelle, the best living comedian, my humble opinion. Let's see what he has to say now. Live from Detroit, the closer. You always find out what the title means in the act. This is going to be my last special for a minute. Oh, man. Let's hope that's not true. Because the last 17 months were hell. Hell yeah, they were. Oh, he's vaccinated. Oh, he got the terrible one. The Johnson and Johnson vaccine. Oh, man. And the audience laughed when he said that. He's saying he was watching uh, videos of uh, black people beating up Asians for no reason. You got to uh, keep in mind that he's married to an Asian woman. Damn, he got lucky. He had the coronavirus and he didn't get no symptoms. Not a cough, not a booger, not a fever, and nothing. Oh, hell no. I am the Magic Johnson of coronavirus. Whoa, looking kind of bad. I know it's the beginning, but looking kind of bad. He's, he had two jokes already that fell flat. This one he's saying a movie plot where aliens leave Earth thousands of years ago. And then come back trying to reclaim it from us. And he wants to call it Space Jews. Hardly anybody left. Oh no, man. So far, it don't sound like Dave Chappelle wrote this. Or maybe someone else helped him write his previous material. Because this ain't as clever as it, as it used to be. It's like a little too heavy-handed. Like a a comic who's, who's starting off. Oh man, here we go. The LBGTQ community. They were mad as hell last time. I hope to negotiate the release of the baby. <laughs> oh man. Oh, finally a good ass joke. Damn. You know he's talking about how the baby went after uh, the gay community, but. He also shot and killed someone outside of a Walmart. And he said, nothing bad happened to his career. <laughs> oh, man. But you mess with the gay community. Oh, that's your ass. Oh, man. Did you see where I'm going with this? Hell, yeah. Is it possible that a gay person can be racist? Yeah, I think I've seen a few videos where that happened. <laughs> <laughs> what? Of course it is possible. Look at Mike Pence. Oh man. He says them old school gangster gays. That's a sentence I never thought I would read ever. Whoa. You might get in trouble with this one. Gay people are minorities until they need to be white again. Woo! Shit. I guess because he got into it with a gay guy at a bar. And instead of fighting, the guy picked up his cell phone and called the police. That could be dangerous because some cops, not all, show up and just start shooting. He's talking about that time where he left uh, Comedy Central and left $50 million behind. That would be very impressive if he was broke when he did it. But he already had a few millions. So it's not that big of a sacrifice. You can say that about a lot of people. I want to see them uh, protest and, and boycott when they ain't got shit. That would be very impressive. That white guy with glasses on the left side with the black shirt. He ain't having fun. Oh, he brought that one back. Space Jews. And it still wasn't that funny. I was doing a nightclub in Oakland 16 years ago. Hey, that's where I'm from. All right, that was funny. He said he was at a bar. He said he was at a hole-in-the-wall bar somewhere in Michigan. 
a lot of poor white people, he yelled out, drinks on me. So the bartender there was like, are you sure? That's going to be $16. <laughs> Why was it easier for Bruce Jenner to change his gender than it, than it is for Cassius Clay to change his name? Whoa. That's real. Yeah, he might get in trouble with this one. He says he's backing up J.K. Rowling. That, quote, gender is a fact. It's not a social construct. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm i done with J.K. too, man. You can't just decide to be a woman. You're a trans woman. Hell yeah. But you're not a woman woman. Women have, uh, have and are going through a lot of shit. And you can't just decide you're one. Oh, I remember that. Caitlyn Jenner was voted Woman of the Year. That was crazy. <laughs> he said, never even had a period. Ain't that some? Oh, man. The gay couple on the left. They're mad as hell. They're either lesbians or trans or something. You could tell. Why would you go to his show? You know what he's going to talk about. Oh, buddy, I'm in trouble now. Yep, you sure are. I see it coming. I would do 18 shows in the Bay Area. Man, he likes the Bay Area for some reason. Yeah, one of his best stand-up specials, man, is uh, 2003 at the Fillmore in San Francisco. Damn, that shit was funny. In that show, he's like, we're leaving San Francisco. Everything's all nice. We cross that bridge, and it's like, welcome to Oakland, bitch. That shit had me cracking the hell up when I first saw it. Yeah, see, there you go. Sometimes in Oakland, in Dirty Hood nightclub. Yeah, Oakland got some hood-ass uh, nightclubs. Damn, I didn't see that coming. My friend Daphne killed herself. He's talking about uh, this transgender friend who would always go see him whenever he was in uh, San Francisco. She defended him on Twitter. They went after her. She was defending herself, but I guess she got too depressed and just killed herself. Man, it's a fucked up world. And she jumped off her apartment building. Jesus. Okay. So from 1 to 10, I give this stand-up special a solid... Seven. It's good. Nowhere near as good as uh, Sticks and Stones and uh, for what it's worth. I think that's what it's called. The 2003 one he did in San Francisco. Still pretty good though, man. At the beginning, it, it was rough. He was falling flat. Those jokes were like really falling flat. Yeah, they weren't as clever as before. Still like it though. Definitely recommend it. Check out one of my audiobooks, ebooks, paperbacks down in the description below.